Final Fantasy XIV Evans Ward is finally released, bringing with it loads of new content. Zones are bigger than ever before, and this growth is both horizontal and vertical. Walking from end to end can take considerable time, especially if there are cliffs or drop-offs in your way. But luckily, walking is no longer the only option available. For the first time, players can take to the skies on black chocobos, dragons, hippogriffs, and even their own personal airship. But it's not quite as easy as stepping out the door and onto your magic carpet. So what's involved in breaking those tethers and going airborne? Find out in my guide to flying in Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Ward. Short of the three entirely new jobs available with Evans Ward, flight wins for biggest change in the franchise. I don't normally make comparisons to its predecessor, Final Fantasy XI, but in that game even jumping was out of reach. Your character was forever firmly locked to the ground. For any longtime veterans of both games, being able to soar over these beautiful areas with complete freedom is a glorious new experience well worth the effort. There are some preparatory steps that need to be completed before this happens though, so let me lay them out. As with practically everything else in Final Fantasy XIV, flying is locked behind the story quest. This means that even if you have a hippogriff from the Collector's Edition, you can't start flapping right away. Don't worry though, the quest to unlock the option isn't too far in. After completing the quest Divine Intervention, you're given both a black chocobo and ethereal compass. The black chocobo, unlike your blonder companion, has been raised from birth with some sort of flight training and can handle the effort of dragging your heavily armored self through the clouds. He's still going to need a little help though, and that's where the ethereal compass comes into play. Each area has 15 Aether Currents that must be attuned with, similar to attuning to Aetherite Crystals. These currents are what allow black chocobos with their tiny wings to get airborne, and you'll need every single one of them from an area before you'll be able to fly there. The compass can be activated to provide a general direction and distance to the nearest Aether Current. It's a good idea to set it to your hotbar so it can be activated quickly. It can also be used while you're on a chocobo, so it's easy to fire off while riding around to see if you're near a current or not. Fair warning, Square Enix has placed a lot of them in difficult to reach places atop cliffs or over ravines. Even though a current may seem very close by the compass reading, check out the map to see if you may have to take a long way around to get there. You can also check under the travel category in Aether Currents to see your current status in each area. This only takes care of the first 10 currents however, the other 5 are different. These 5 yellow shaded slots can only be obtained through specific quests in each zone. Spoiler alert, a couple of those are story quests, and even the regular quest types won't be unlocked until you've made it to a certain story quest anyway. Always check new side quests when they appear for the little ethereal current icon, to make sure you don't miss any. Sometimes these are short easy quests, but others can be full dungeon runs. This also means that conveniently you won't be able to obtain every last day of the current until you've essentially finished the important content for that zone and moved on to the next. At first it sounds terrible, but honestly I think it's perfect, and I'll explain why. Flight in an MMORPG is great, but it can ruin your appreciation for an entire area. It becomes easy to skip over the difficult content or lose any respect for tall mountains, impossibly deep caverns, or frightening monsters that might be in your way. By restricting its use until only side quests, fates, and general exploration remain, you've already gained that appreciation. When I first gained the ability to fly, I was so tired of the core at this western highlands. The zone is enormous. It's full of cliffs and ravines that force you to go miles out of the way to get where you're going. And to be quite honest, a lot of the monsters here are loaded with HP. This means random fights can be pretty difficult early on, unless your gear is really incredible. Then I finished the last quest and the beautiful Ethereal Attunement Complete notification came up. Everything changed. Suddenly the area felt new and fresh. I couldn't wait to check out all the crevices I hadn't been able to reach. It reminded me of why I played Final Fantasy XIV over other MMOs. I spent 20 minutes just flying around looking at the scenery and exploring this new form of transportation. Without gaining that appreciation for how much of a bitch the zone can be, I would never have felt such joy at no longer having to worry about it. That stupid canyon I had to run around a million times? Just glide over it. That tall mountain pass that winds back and forth for what seems like miles? Skip it, fly straight to the top. I've never been a completionist, but with Flight Unlocked, I suddenly wanted to see and do everything the zone had to offer. Being able to zip around, I decided to do every side quest available, and it's awesome. There are two configuration settings for flying, and I encourage you to try them both out. The default keeps your camera locked behind your chocobo, always flying in the direction you're pointed. While this is the easiest to pick up, the other option allows you to pan the camera around while flying in a straight line, which I find to be far more valuable for seeing the beautiful scenery mid-flight. Let me know in the comments which you prefer, and whether or not you wish they allowed a full-on joystick setup for navigating the clouds. Anyways, that's all there is to flying. I hope this has been helpful in answering any questions you might have about flying in Final Fantasy XIV. 
If it didn't, feel free to ask in the comments. Remember to like the video if you liked it, and please subscribe for more. I'll have plenty of Heavensward content coming as I keep making my way through the expansion. Thanks for watching.